Hey, good morning, folks. Welcome to the Nurse Mark and the Green Nurse AFA Daily Dose. Where we bring hope and inspiration for growth and healing so you can start your day off the AFA way to live your best life. Oh, yeah. Okay, throwback Thursday, December 3rd, 2020. So the AFA reading of the day, the daily love, was from You Are What You Think, Dr. Wayne Dyer. I just love this guy. Oh, today's was awesome. So here's, it's real quick. It's real easy. Let's do it. Here it is. It has been said that it's the space between the bars that holds the tiger, and it's the silence between the notes that makes the music. It is out of the silence or the gap or that space between our thoughts that everything is created, including our own bliss. Oh, whoa. Boom. Boom. So here's a really cool thing to think about. Yeah. So um, one of the meditations that I have worked with other group of meditators and I've created this thing, it's called the heart space meditation. And I think Wayne Dyer, it's the gap. So it's the space between the breath yeah. where it's silent, there where it's a, peaceful. Yeah. I do. So I've done a lot of meditation training seminars, events, right? And there was a dude last year who that was his thing was like, okay. it's the, it's that pause between the breath at the end. And the, so it's a deep breath in. It's There's that, that space. Yeah. And that's There's the that access space. to the bliss. That's the access to the moment. So it's great. I call it the heart space meditation. Love so it. when you focus on the space between the breath, mm -hmm. you're sitting in your heart space where everything is perfect. The love of the breath is circulating right all through your body. Life. Truly, truly powerful. I it's love life. that. Yeah. Yeah. It's life. It's the energy. So what's your, what's your AFA word of the day? Okay. My AFA word of the day is prayer. And the reason why it is prayer is because last night I did a guided journey with Nancy Conroy. She's out of Sedona. Mm -hmm. She is a Reiki master healer, owns I Am Wellbeing, and she does these free meditations weekly. And we met our spirit animals. <laughs> so we went on this journey and I have like a set of spirit animals and guides that I usually work with, but something new came in last night. Wow. The praying mantis came in last night, very loud and clear. So there was something about prayer. And I'm going to look up a little bit more about the praying mantis. I didn't have a chance to do it, but it just mm -hmm. struck me that I need to be in silence, be in prayer, yeah. you know, and step to listen to the voice, space. step into that space. Silence, the gap. The gap. So prayer is my word of the day. Mm -hmm. And my word is bliss, of course. Just yeah. stepping into that gap and experiencing bliss. Bliss. Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. So right. what are we doing to take care of ourselves today? <laughs> so I talked about on the Daily Love, I talked about after reading this, I talked about how uh, it's funny. Last night I was thinking you know what? There's so many damn distractions in my life. Like it, all, my life is so fragmented. I have so many things going on. And then I get a text message and I look at the email and I look at the news feed, and I'm doing like, I'm all over the place and it's not very effective. Right. So I'm always scattered. And then I read this about stepping into the silence or the gap. Right. So, so what I'm doing for health, for my healthcare today here, I am going to just do this. I'm going to hold the button down on my iPhone, and I'm going to slide the power off. <gasps> I already feel the panic. I already feel a panic setting in, like my phone's off. How the heck are the people in the world going to get a hold of me now? Because they need to talk to me, right? My phone is off. It's going to be off for the day. My self-care for me today is to, to do what's called segment intention setting. Like, so from the law of attraction, Esther and Jerry Hicks wrote in there, when I have a, a, mo a thing to do, a thing to accomplish, like different segments of my day, whatever it happens to be, my next segment's going to be working on the green nurse, right? Our right. Business. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work for a few hours specifically on some things in that area. And I'm going to set an intention and I'm going to just do that. Right. 
Imagine Instead that. of being pulled in many different directions, because you're be what you're doing pulled. is you're establishing flow. You're going to get into that flow you state. You know it. You know right. it. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. What are you going to do, Jerry? Well, I, I do a lot of different things, um, as you know. But today, I'm going to focus on something because we're going to be talking about it in just a minute. Yep. Is one of the things in the morning. You know, I have issues, as you all know, with eating sometimes because of the illness that I had. But uh -huh. what's really important to me is gut health. Also getting up early in the morning, I need to get stimulated because I'm not a morning person, but I'm changing that as I get to bed earlier. So what I've been incorporating into my diet is um, cacao, cacao, mm -hmm. chocolate. So it's raw chocolate. Mm -hmm. And so I've been making either a combination of adaptogen mushroom tea with the cacao, or today I'm just doing the cacao. So it's cacao powder, hot water, a little bit of almond milk, and a tiny bit of maple syrup. So the cacao powder has been known to work on our CB2 receptors. The cacao plant um, activates those CB2 receptors to help work in our gut, our gut health. And then as we all know that our enteric nervous system, which goes from our mouth all the way down to our butt, connects to our central nervous system via the endocannabinoid system. So oh, basically, no Right. So if I can improve my gut health, decrease inflammation, it's going to communicate to my central nervous system and mm -hmm. it's going to help me to be more clear and yeah. alert and focused in a way that feels good and healthy. And, and and you said the magic word, you said inflammation. And you know what? Inflammation is really been uh, indicated in the aging process, right? So as we age, it's because we have this consistent chronic inflammation going on in our bodies. And you know, it's low level and, and it just, it's there. It's part of that whole thing. The breakdown of the uh, uh, not working correctly of the endocannabinoid system. So anything we can do to change that and decrease that inflammation is only going to help us as we age. Absolutely. And I so I've chosen. Old, or, yeah. So I so sometimes, too, it's just nice, too, because, you know, I do like coffee. However, Sometimes coffee can deplete our body of B vitamins. It can dehydrate yeah. us. Mm -hmm. So I'm not I'm not an anti coffee person. Trust me, I like no, a good caffeine no, it's buzz. A good drug. It's a good drug. Yeah. It's a good drug. It's a good drug. It's Today, a drug. Yeah, it's it a is, drug. But it's it good. is a good one. So let's move on to chocolate. Oh. All right. This is a good one. This is a really good one. So for Throwback Thursday, I thought it would be, and especially since December first was World Awareness. World AIDS Awareness Day. Mm -hmm. So we're, you know, we're talking a lot about the endocannabinoid system, about pro-immunity. And I brought up cacao, which is found in chocolate. Mary Jane Rathbun died at the age of 76 in 1999. And she was known as Brownie Mary. Mm -hmm. She was an American medical cannabis rights activist a hospital volunteer at the San Francisco General Hospital. And she was known for baking and distributing cannabis brownies to AIDS patients. So I found it very, very fascinating, her story. Her and along with Dennis Perrin, they lobbied for the legislation of medical cannabis in California mm -hmm. and helped to pass the San Francisco Proposition P of 1991. And then later, before she died, she died in 1999. In 1996, three years before her death, she helped yeah. pass California Proposition 215. That, that, and, and that really was the beginning, the beginning of what we're where we're at now. Yeah. Well, I, her story is just is just a little really, really fascinating. And then we're going to talk yeah. about your chocolate. But, you know, yeah. she she did a lot. I mean, just think about this. You know, she was mm -hmm. this little old lady, you know, making brownies. You know, she contributed mm -hmm. to the establishment of the San Francisco Cannabis Club, which was the first medical cannabis dispensary in the United States. Yeah. Just think about this. This little old lady was arrested three times. <laughs> and with each arrest, it brought like an increased local, national and international media attention to medical cannabis movement. Because here was this unassuming, you know, grandmotherly looking woman who was putting her ass on the line. And, and every time she got arrested, it was more noteworthy. Right. And it's more like, oh. Well, let's yeah. think about this. Well, she thinks it's okay. I guess let, let's let's think think about it. Exactly. This little yeah, old lady that's example. making brownies. I mean, so just think about it. So she introduced these cannabis brownies to thousands of patients 
that were dying of wasting syndrome. And, and wasting syndrome is a pretty mystical thing. It's mm -hmm. a true loss of appetite resulting from a very, very weak immune system, yeah, um, which is the leading cause of death. death. Yeah, yeah. It's a Cachexia. I mean, it's the whole, there's a whole dynamic in, in events in the body that kind of come together. And it's, you know, once you head down that road, boy, it's hard to come back. I can tell, you know what? I, you know, I don't you have know, AIDS or HIV, but I had a severe autoimmune condition that mm -hmm. was compounded by a gastrointestinal illness. And I truly understand what it means to want to eat and can't yeah. physically do it. It's, can't it's physically do it. And when you do, <laughs> You're not, you're not even going to get all the nutrients that you need to get. So it's this whole spiral thing. And it, and it really is. I mean, it can, it's, it can lead to death, right? So it's serious. Yeah. So she did like just some amazing things. So she has mm -hmm. this grandmotherly, you know, appearance. She's truly about caring for humans and she's yeah. baking these brownies. Mm -hmm. You know, she's, she belongs to a group of women who, you know, have been just like Florence Nightingale. I just think about it, right? Just a, she's the cannabis Florence Nightingale, you know, truly about reform. And, um, you know, she refused to stick to the traditional policy. She thought she re eliminated the box that said she had to think outside the box. Right. You and know, really the fast. Thing. There is, there, there really, I mean, laws, rules, regulations, they're all agreement between people, really. That's all yeah. they are. And sometimes it's time to change things, right? Time to change things. I don't up. agree with a lot that's going on. I'm going to make it known. Make it known. Absolutely. Yeah. So Mark's brownies are pretty magical. Oh <laughs> man, you know, you know, and and they're they're just wonderful. And so they're not really my brownies. They're they're made with a with an amazing mix from Jenny Argy at Jenny's Baked at Home. Look it up, Jenny's Baked at Home .com. She's put together a mix a long while ago, a brownie mix that is just perfect for creating medicated brownies. It, it's high protein, cacao chocolate, organic, gluten-free. I mean, it's just an amazing mix. And I just, I love what comes out of that. I make little tiny brownies and and they're just perfect. And, and when are you coming back to Massachusetts? <laughs> hey, Joyce Gerber, I love Jenny too. She's awesome, isn't she? Good morning, yeah, she's Laura. Great. Yeah. Yes. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm coming. I'm going to be up in Massachusetts uh, in a few weeks. Yeah. Excellent. So we're going to yeah. have to bake some brownies, yeah, all of us we'll together. Have a baking day for Christmas. At the, yes. Baking cookies and brownies. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh -huh. Wonderful. Wonderful. So here we are. Yeah. Thursday. Mm -hmm. And if you or someone you love is suffering from chronic pain, chronic illness, cannabis curious, or even want to learn how to use this plant to incorporate into your life mm -hmm. for health and wellness, or even if you want to have a recreational experience, reach out to us at The Green Nurse, www.thegreennurse.com. And we will be able to do a consultation to educate you. We also do medical cards in New York, Vermont, Iowa, Massachusetts, and Maine. And with every consultation or appointment that's booked through the Green Nurse, you will get a free bottle of Nurse Mark CVD. Mm -hmm. And and Nurse Mark is also has a special while supplies last that if you buy one bottle of Nurse Mark CVD, you'll get another bottle for free. Yeah. And if you are in the healthcare space in whatever context and you are interested in adding cannabis coaching, helping people to use cannabis uh, as a medicine to, to really live their best life. We have a great mentoring program and we would love to have you join our community. So go to the www.thegreennurse.com. Oh, someone wants me to put up the link to get those brownies. Let me just grab that. Yes, the brownie link. Absolutely, absolutely. So yeah, so tomorrow we're going to continue on our conversation talking about um, HIV and AIDS, some of the medications that they put patients on, and how cannabinoids can mitigate side effects and bridge the gap from what patients aren't getting from traditional medicine. So we're going to go into that just a little bit more in detail tomorrow for Fun Fact Friday. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Fun Fact Friday. All right, I'm going to copy this up. Let's get this in here. 
Yeah. So we All right. Go Jenny'sBakedAtHome.com. That chocolate brownie mix. Woo! The best. Jenny, what a great job you did. Excellent. All right. So that's it, folks. Uh, have an AFA day. Remember, you are absolutely fucking amazing, exactly as you are. And we'll and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. And remember, everyone, truly, what is it all about? It's about living your best life, helping others do the same so you can be AFA and teach others the AFA way. See you tomorrow. <laughs>